Good morning to Backyard Mayhem. This is Auntie Kim's mom's garlic shoots. If you can't go to Chinatown for garlic stems, you bring the garlic stems to you. This is Auntie Malia's chili pepper right here. Can you see it right here coming up? It's planted on 4-9, so we'll see. It should come up soon. Grammy Jane and Pa's Chiso. Pa. This is Chiso. It'll keep going straight up. That's what you want. So if someone who shall remain lameless knocks off the tips and you pinch the tip of your plants, it's going to make the plants go sideways. So rather than growing straight up, it's going to start putting out all these side shoots and become more bushy. And you just have to pinch the top and it'll become more bushy like this. There's a fancy word for it, but we're not gonna go into it. If you have a child that likes to knock off the top, it'll just do it automatically for you. So these are all the leftover lettuce ceilings from that ceiling project with 4-H that went to the homeless shelter. These are those cilantros finally starting to grow. Today we're making little baggies of fertilizer for teachers who requested hydroponic solution like Lola. We're making little baggies of Epsom salt, magnesium sulfate, calcium nitrate, and this is Hydro Gardens, a water soluble fertilizer for lettuce. We're sending the teachers that request these three part hydroponic mix. We also sent schools and homeless shelters the seedlings that we produce and seeds are going out through UH so that people who want to grow food can grow food. That will go out. It's really simple. We have a recipe at UH that you mix these three according to one gallon of water and that's enough for one head of lettuce. So if you don't have one gallon containers, you can just use milk cartons like this, which is half a gallon. Use your trusty math skills and adjust your recipe accordingly. If you don't have a fancy bit like this, you can use a knife and just make your own holes. The key is just don't cut to the bottom or everything's going to leak out. You want to keep the cap on if you're going to use milk jugs. And then you can either use things like this, which you can get commercially, or you can use little shot glasses and then put this into your solution which will already be mixed in there we can get your recipe for that and something like this not fancy but you can grow lettuce like this you can use your seedlings that you started in your soil mix basically just take them out and plop them in here and you can put that into your solution and the lettuce will just grow because of the fertilizer are in, are in the water. Hold your camera straight. If you don't want to put the soil in the solution, you can use these type of non-soil type of materials. They never break down. They stay on the earth forever, but it works really well so that you don't have to put soil in your systems. These are called oasis. There's also rock wool. These are little lettuce seeds inside already. For Lola, so we're getting them started, and you can you can always grow in soil like this as well. You can use one gallon milk jugs. If you wanted to use something like this, you could you could just put your cup into here and maybe wrap this with aluminum foil to so the cup stays without falling in you could just reinforce it somehow and then plug your ceiling in there you could use something like this put your container on top right you can use something like this put your container on top bigger containers like this and then just adjust for the volume of water if you're gonna use something like this with the mason jar approach you gotta stop the light from coming in or it's gonna turn all green from the algae you could wrap it with aluminum foil just to keep the light out. Not enough water for one head, but you'll get a small head of lettuce using something like that, which is a quart. And then if you wanted to, you can adjust your recipe. Moving. The 
you can go bigger as well you just adjust your recipe this is 10 gallons you mix for 10 gallons of solution you just adjust your recipe for 10 gallons you plop these little cups in you want to make sure that the ceiling touches those solution and you want to keep it covered so the light doesn't get in when these little ceilings in here germinate you can also plop them into the cups and then you just leave it you don't touch it you don't add more water before you drown them and with that solution plus the ceilings in about three or four weeks you should get a nice head of lettuce so in this system you'll get six heads of lettuce you can also go to a bigger four by four four by eight system easily you just multiply the recipe out use those good intermediate math skills that you're acquiring and she will go okay austin that is it for today please pray for us we have to survive the weekend send the national guard send the coast guard we'll be out here all day